started. Let me start with uh, where I should, the Yasu Takanyas. Kala. Kala, all right. All right. So you have, uh, see, I think look at all the, the Greek I've learned since last year, Father. You're very well. Well, uh, welcome, everybody. This is the, the day that we commemorate uh, the independence of uh, the Greek nation some uh, almost 200 years ago now uh, when uh, the Greeks uh, liberated from uh, the Ottoman Empire. And it's a great day in Western history. And it's a great day for our Greek community here in New Bedford, which is a, has uh, historically been a very rich community uh, here, uh, centered around St. George's Church in the North End, the Lower North End. And it continues to remain vibrant today. Um, uh, it's a, uh, it's a, an occasion that I always uh, get, uh, get the, the opportunity to see my good friend Father Bebis and uh, you know, I could, I could just as much say, you know, whatever Father Bebba says goes, and that, you, that would Maria. be enough said today. But I just wanted to say, to thank, take the occasion to thank Father, Father Bebba uh, again for all uh, he does, not just for the Greek community in our uh, city and in the region, but also uh, for all you do for the city otherwise, whether it's the library board or your uh, kind contributions to, uh, to our library. Um, you, uh, you've done so much for our city and being just being a real civic leader uh, and being the glue for not just Greeks but also uh, for New Bedfordites in general. And so, Father Bevis, thanks for all you do. I have a, I have a proclamation here commemorating uh, Greek Independence Day. And uh, it's a, on this day, everybody's Greek. It's, it's, uh, the Greeks have, have uh, the Greeks, of course, laid, laid the foundation for Western civilization. So not only today do we commemorate um, their, re their liberation uh, in the night, early 19th century, but also uh, we recognize the, the contributions of the Greeks over uh, many millennia and really establishing those things that we take for granted today, that we live in a, in a, in a functioning republic, that we have, that we uh, respect democratic norms, and that we, uh, uh, that we use those institutions to, uh, to uh, or uh, employ those institutions, rely on those institutions to, uh, to have the kind of society that we have today. So, Father, I'll ask you to come on up and speak, but I have a proclamation Thank you very um, much, sir. for you from the city of uh, New Bedford. Where's the president of the Parish Council, Mr. Maniaris? Right here. Yeah, here. Yeah, proclamation. Father uh, Bebis, come on up. Yeah, speaking about the contributions of the... I'd like to present to you, Mr. Mayor, a, th a very yes. fine work of Harry Strauss, an English scholar, The Battle of Salamis, the naval encounter that saved Greece and Western civilization. Very nice. Thank from, you. Thank so you very much. Here. Thank you very much. And God bless you and thank you very much for your wonderful words for us. Okay, thank you so much. Philip. And a man who's never at a loss for words, <laughs> our friend Bill Paleologos. Yeah, Bill, come on up. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you so very, very much. Father Bebis, our uh, Board of Trustees, uh, President Dennis, and uh, members of our Greek community, and uh, most especially to the citizens of New Bedford, who uh, today we celebrate the great contributions and accomplishments of the Greek community to our city the Greeks who immigrated here years ago and through the generations have continued a tradition of giving back to our city. For a moment, I want you to take a look at the Greek flag, the blue and white representing the sky and the ocean of the Aegean Sea and the cross, the cross representing the importance of the Orthodox Church in the Greek tradition in our community. And today we in fact celebrate two, two holidays. One, of course, the, as the mayor said, the independence of the Greeks from the Ottoman Empire and the Feast of the Annunciation, which is the day that the angel Gabriel came to Mary and informed her that she would have the baby Jesus. So in that respect, I'm going to fold both holidays into one with this prayer and this wish. 
that the country that gave Western civilization so much have also a rebirth of, of financial independence in the future. Thank you, God bless you, and Zito Yelas. Well done. Well done. We'll actually Driscoll right. teacher to raise the flag. Was, uh, okay, who's gonna raise the flag for us? Uh, Driscoll teacher. Yeah. And I think we have the music queued up. Maybe John, yeah. Yeah, John there, yeah. Mrs. Tonis is the... <laughs> Thank you, everybody, Thank you, for coming. Mayor. Thank you, everybody, for coming today. Um, this is always one of my favorite ceremonies, and it's not just because of the cele celebration of all things Greek. You know, the commitment to family, the Orthodox Church, the fascinating history, the, uh, the being the source of democratic institutions. But today, for me, most of all, it's what I love uh, so much about Greek culture, and that's Greek pastry. <laughs> we have some, a lot back in the Ashley room right now, so I ask. Everyone to come back and, uh, and join us. Thank, Thank you, you very much, much, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to get some baklava soon. <laughs> Thank you, John. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.